So good morning, everyone. I'm really glad to have a chance to chat with you while Mark's bringing my screen up. I just want to tell you what a privilege it is to have a chance to talk with you again as we start this new year together. Uh, what an exciting time to be a financial advisor. You know, thank goodness the, the market's been favorable. People are feeling good about the economy and good about themselves and more wealth has been created this year in the markets and everything else. So I think that's really important for everyone and it makes our business easier. So Mark, are everyone looking at my screen right now? Yeah, Today, I see your screen. Great. Today we're going to talk about the difference that makes a difference because so many times we'll say, well, boy, we really make a difference. But the truth is there's very few things out there that really make a difference. Have you ever heard someone say, and this is going to change your life and they're talking about a diet or they're talking about a new internet connection or a new game that you can play or a, a new visit to an amusement park. The truth is there are very few things that really do change our lives physically health wise there are a number of things but personally what's going to change things personally and frankly net law and the opportunity to do advanced planning changes things so i want to show you that the real difference net law makes and why net law is different it's not the same old estate planning it's not the same old advanced care planning everyone knows about it's totally different so what i want to do is is help you with your clients when a client says why do i need advanced planning and really advanced planning is what we're talking about because we're talking about not only thinking about your health care documents your estate planning documents but your your legacy giving as well all of those things are included in what net law brings to the table and then clients want to know why do i need that and then if i do need it why net law I mean, aren't there other ways to do this? Rocket lawyer, uh, my attorney down the street, my friend in the same neighborhood or at the club. There are a lot of other alternatives. And if net law, what makes it so distinctive? What makes net law stand out? Well, those are the kind of questions that you have to answer. And today, that's what we're going to deal with. And by the way, on January the 17th, I hope you'll have um, all of your colleagues join us we're gonna have an objection clinic an objection clinic means we're gonna deal with the with what you hear from your clients when they say I don't think so because I don't like that because um, no I already have this whenever you get those responses we're gonna give you a clinic on what to say when that happens and you know many clients are gonna say no anyway period that's what they do so you just accept that and then deal with the objection so that's what we're going to do on January the 17th at this webinar and I'll be joined by Jamie Hargrove the guy who created net law so we're going to help you with legal questions personal questions sales questions uh, and I hope you'll join us then so what are the net law advantage well the clients really want to know not what should I do but why should I do it everybody's telling us what to do the real question is the why question. And if you can answer the why question, everything else is easy. I have a friend, Nito Cobain, who's a member of the National Speakers Association. And Nito says, if you can answer the why question, all other questions are easy. What are we going to do? Why explains it? Who's gonna do it? Why explains it? The why question is the most important one of all. And that's the one every client has in the back of their mind. But most salespeople ignore the why and we just default to what should you do we do that because we're product focused we're sales focused and so we want to explain the what before the why and the truth is you know this as well as i do if you don't take care of the why the what doesn't matter you remember we've all heard the story when a dad says i want you to do this and the answer when the kids say why is because i said so well generally that doesn't work very well i was a part of a sales team when uh, they were introducing a new product and when we asked the why question why is this good for the client why is this good for us the answer was because we're telling you to do it that's very inadequate the why question is really more important than the what question so let's deal with that why net law that's the real question why should i do this net law it is the difference that makes the difference what do i mean by that well the facts make it really clear the good thing about this product the good thing about the offer, the good thing about what we're talking about today is there's not a family that you know or your own family, family you're part of, that doesn't need an advanced care plan. Not one. Why? Because one day every one of us is going to have to be admitted to the hospital, sometimes for a test, sometimes for treatment. 
or sometimes because of illness. Everyone's life is going to come to an end. We, we're going to need the hospitalization and we're going to need be prepared for when the end comes. You know, some people have said, in fact, Aldous Huxley said, most Americans think death is an unfounded rumor. Most Americans think death is an unfounded rumor. In fact, no one wants to think about it, but the truth is it is a reality. We're not going to be reminding people of an unpleasant rumor. We're going to be reminding people of how to take the stress and the difficulty. There are any exceptions. Everyone's going to have to deal with it, but now we can make a difference. The second fact is you've got to be protected. The whole reason that the hospital asks you for a living will, a durable power of attorney for health care, and HIPAA authorities is to protect you. From what? I mean, the hospital. From unneeded, unwanted, unnecessary treatments and expensive tests. I've said to you before in these seminars that up to 40%, according to the Dartmouth Health Study, up to 40% of what happens to us in the hospital is not only unnecessary, but may be harmful to us. And we're going to look, look at a quote from the Harvard Medical School about that in just a bit. The hospital for most of us is a stressful place, isn't it? I mean, if you're just walking in the door, there's stress that comes along. For treatment and tests, gosh, they can be anxiety filled. What's the result going to be? So the secret of removing that and protecting yourself is plan before you need to for when you may not be able to plan. It, it's, it's what we said about life insurance. Life insurance is the product you have to buy before you need it, because when you need it, you can't buy it. Isn't that true? Life insurance is a product you must buy before you need it, because when you need it, you can't buy it. So we've got to help people look into the future and anticipate and plan for what they know is going to be coming. That's why net law is so important. We, we help protect people from the problems that can occur. And the third fact, Every client is reminded of the need for the net law product every time they walk into a doctor's office. The doctor says, do you have the documents? Every time you go to the hospital, do you have the documents? They're always going to ask for them. The New York Times told us that 65% of Americans have no idea of why we are asked that question. Here's the quote that I think is so important from Dr. Angela Davis at the Harvard Medical School. Angela says, if you have not translated your wishes, your values, the core of who you are into some sort of medical plan, what I will do oftentimes is provide marginal benefit, cause great suffering to you and your family, and provide little benefit, and frankly, only postpone your death. Remember when we did the seminar on healthcare, I said the question I wish I'd asked the doctor when my brother was admitted to the hospital, and this is something you need to write down because you need to use this every time a member of your family, your mom, your dad, your uncle, your grandparent is in the hospital. You need to raise this question. Is this treatment or procedure going to provide healing? Is it a bridge to healing? It may not be the healing, but is it a bridge to healing or is it only going to postpone my death? That's the words. Basically, they're coming from this doctor. Is this treatment going to be a bridge to healing? Or is it only going to postpone my death or the death of my grandmother or the death of my brother? I wish I'd asked that question as I told you before, because it would have changed everything for my younger brother when he was in the hospital and passed away in 41 days. Here's the fourth fact. <laughs> when it comes to estate planning, you already have one. You have a state plan. Maybe not in the state plan, but every one of you from California to Florida, from Maine to Texas, you have a state plan, a state plan, because your state says this is what's going to happen to you if you die intestate. That means without a will. So who do you want to decide the future of your children, of your heirs, of your spouse? Who do you want to do that? You or the state? My guess is everyone's going to answer the exact same answer. I don't want the state to do it. Why do we want to get involved in planning? Because planning is protecting the most important things in your life, including your life. Remember, a debt law plan is not just to set aside 
an estate plan as opposed to a state plan. Net law is to also decide how you want to be treated when you're under medical treatment and who you want to speak for you when you cannot speak and what you want them to know about the care that you expect. It's so important. Planning is protecting the most important things in your life, including your life. That's why this is so important to everyone. Well, we've looked at three facts, but why net law? Let's say, I understand it. I need the health care. I understand it. I need an estate plan. I understand it. I want to leave a legacy. But why net law? Here are the four things that's so key. Net law is personal. It's not personal if you're filling out a document online without any help or anybody to care. Net law, rocket lawyer, there's a big difference between the two. We're going to talk about that. It's conversational. Conversational is what everyone wants, right? When you're talking about anything with your clients or your prospects, it needs to be done conversationally, not in a sales presentation, but within the context of a conversation. And that's why net law works. And it's got to be digital. We live in a world where paper is slowly dying, and yet in everywhere except when it comes to the hospital and with estate plans, everybody still has paper. Paper has some serious faults, and we'll talk about that in a minute. And here's the last thing you want to use in that law, because you get it done. Personal, conversational, digital, done. Let me just tell you, most of your prospects are thinking, you know, I need to get around to that. I need to think about that. I need to take some action on that. I've heard about that before. Everyone already has implanted in their mind because of something that occurred in their own family that they need to do this. The question is, how do you get it done? Net law allows you to get it done. Where? <laughs> in your house, in your home, talking with your family, with your spouse about what you want done. Not with an attorney sitting there listening who's guiding you through forms. Let me just tell you, attorneys use pre-printed forms. Do you think they type up everything? <laughs> Let me just tell you, we've sat with five estate planning attorneys as my wife and I have moved from state to state, and it's all a fill in the blanks. If you compare the Pennsylvania one to the Kentucky one to the North Carolina one to the New York one, you'd be amazed because basically it's the same document and you have to write it in paper, get it printed out and keep it. Personal, conversational, digital, done. What do we mean by that? Well, personal means helpful guidance that fits your needs, not fitting your needs into a one size fits all document. That's important. What everyone wants today in a digital world, in a world where we're all connected by more electronics than we are with our relationships, personal conversational relationships, being personal is important. Fitting my needs. This is what I want. I'm a single. I'm a, I'm a married couple with a special needs child. We're a married couple with adopted children. We're a married couple with no children. These online documents are not that helpful when it comes to being personal. Personal means you're in control. Who do you want to be in control of your health care? Who do you want to be in control of your estate? What executor do you want? Who do you want to be able to write checks for you? My goodness, you want to be in control of all of those. And personal means you are in control and you make decisions to protect your family. Personal, well, that means it's like you and like me. We're going through changes every day in our lives. My wife and I have just relocated. We've just moved to a new state. Now, with our net law documents, the ones we completed in Kentucky are valid in Florida with a touch of a button. Change comes with net law, and that's great because every other time we moved, we had to do it all over again. We have five estate plans. Four of them are useless, and now the fifth one is because we no longer reside in Kentucky. Doesn't matter. I don't have to see an attorney in Florida because our documents will be loaded into the Florida system and be prepared there. That's the best thing about net law. It takes, it goes with us all through life. If there's a change in marriage status, if there's a change in relationships, you can update it whenever you like. That's personal and it's conversational. I said that earlier. What does that mean? It means it's not legalese. Don't you hate it when people's using their own vocabulary? 
You know, Jamie Hargrove is one of my dear friends. And when he talks about avoiding probate, I want to say, hey, stop that. You know, <laughs> just not talk about it. But why do you want to talk about avoiding probate? You can't sell a negative in the first place. And most people don't know what it is. So not only is it a negative, you have to explain it. What a problem. Conversational means there's three conversations. It's really important. The first one is, who do you want to speak for you when you can't speak for yourself? The second is, what do you want them to say? And the third question is, what kind of legacy do you want to leave for your family that represents who you are? The first two cover your health care. The second one covers your estate plan. It's not legalese. There's three simple, short questions. Conversational means smart smart guides, because when you're working on a net law platform, you know there's smart guides right there on the tab to guide you through it in a conversational way. In conversational, that means other people can know everything you want them to know. You can share any part of this document with anyone. And who should be know what you're writing? Certainly your healthcare advocate. If you have a healthcare advocate and they don't know what it is you want them to do, you just made a big mistake. It's important that when you have a living will, your healthcare advocate, your durable power of attorney for healthcare knows what they are to say. Conversational means that you're a, when you plan your estate, that your executor knows what you want, and they may know difficulties in getting it done. Conversational means easily understood. Have you ever tried to explain things that people don't understand, and you go back and say, uh, let me say that again. Uh, let, let me say that another way. Net law solves that. It's personal, it's conversational, and it's digital. Digital. You know how important that is because wherever you are across the country, in cold Atlanta or in freezing um, the Northeast, my daughter's in Connecticut, freezing Northeast, or you're in Minneapolis where it's below zero, or you're in San Diego where it's always sunny in San Diego, you are on this platform. Digital means accessible, 24-7, 365 days a year, forever. I like print. Well, print it out. You have a computer there, you have a printer, print out what you like. Digital also means that you can get this presentation anytime you want. You can listen to it again, you can watch it again, you can share it with others on your team. Digital means accessible, but it also means portable. I just mentioned to you that my wife and I have moved from Kentucky to Florida. That was a wise move, especially the way the weather has been, even though for Floridians, this is cold. In Kentucky, this is almost balmy in the winter. Digital means portable. So every time you relocate, every time you move, every time there's a change, anytime your executor moves or your, your children who may be acting as your healthcare advocates or your durable power of attorney for finance, you can follow along because the documents move along. Digital means adaptable. I just said, Kentucky now adapted to Florida. Adaptable means when your children become 18 and are now adults, then they're going to need their own durable power of attorney for health care. Someone needs to be able to speak for children. In fact, your clients may not know this, and you may not either, but once your children are 18, in most states, they become legally adults. No one can speak for them when they can't speak for themselves without a durable power of attorney for healthcare. That solves all the problems. And that's why that document was created in the first place. It's portable, goes where you want to. It's adaptable. It finishes off in whatever situation you may happen to be in. So you can look back and say, done, done. And digital means shareable. How great to be able to share these documents. Most people who have this done, who've done estate planning, done the healthcare documentation, have it written down somewhere, stored someplace. Remember my definition of a filing cabinet is where you lose things alphabetically. Isn't that correct? It's where you lose things alphabetically. And if you were to ask your client says, oh, I've already done that, you could say, and do you know where they are? Have you shared them with the people that's important? And the answer is probably no, because in, with paper, it's not shareable. Personal, conversational, digital, done. What does done mean? Gosh, you don't have to keep putting it off until you can get in the point with the attorney, till you have your family gathering in your conversation. Done means you can do it now. You don't have to keep putting it off. Done means finished, but not final. 
my plan in the state of Kentucky was finished, but it's not final because now I'm in Florida. Most of us are going through changes in our lives. And it may be relocating from a house to a facility for our older clients. It may be relocating to a job or having a second home. By the way, if your client has a second home in another state, they need documentation done for that state. If they own property in another state, then you have to be sure that you have that taken care of with your will and estate. Things can get so complicated unless it is easy to move, unless it's portable, finished, but not final. And with net law, you can redo your beneficiaries, redo your, your trust with ease and without added expense. Done means simple. Gosh, don't we like things that's simple and easy to do? And most of the things that we want to get done and get done are things we can do simply and easily. Done means timely. How much time does it take to get in the car, to go see the attorney, to get an appointment, to go through it, to go back again to see the documents, to go back one more time for the presentation, and then to write the check for all that? Timely means it's available on your time schedule, Mr. Client. It's on your time schedule, Mr. Advisor, and it's available all the time. And done emotionally, it means exchanging fear and doubt for confidence and security. Listen, the reason people worry about the hospital is because no one wants to go there. Everyone thinks you go to the hospital to die, and nobody wants to do that. Groucho Marx said, <laughs> a comedian that most of you are not familiar with, but Groucho Marx, he of the cigar smoke, the glasses, and the mustache said, going to the hospital is like sitting in a taxi going nowhere with a meter running. Going to the hospital is like sitting in a taxi going nowhere with a meter running. Because when you're sitting in the hospital, you are running up the bills and running up and your fear gets greater and greater. Your insecurity grows. Having the documents done means I am in charge. That's why done is so important. That's why net law is personal, conversational, digital, done. And why does it really make a difference? Here it is, folks. <laughs> you are what makes the difference. You are what makes the difference. The reason your client is purchasing this, the reason your prospects are talking about this is because of you. You have the personal relationships and building the relationship is the most important thing you have with your client. That's why you want to tell the story. And remember, very few have heard the story. They've heard about the need, but they haven't heard an answer to that need because no one's told the story. And tell them, Telling the story means not saying you need an estate plan. Telling the story means the simple question, what do you want to leave as a legacy to your family, to the people that you love, to institutions, to churches, to organizations that you care about? What do you want to leave as a legacy? Don't you want to write that down? That's what an estate plan is all about. What do you want the hospital to know when you go about what kind of tests or procedures that are okay with you? Don't you think you should write that down? You tell the story, you provide help and guidance. And when you do it, when it's needed and when's it needed, let me just tell you, everybody right now is thinking about the new year. Your clients making resolutions about the new year. Everybody is planning to make this year better than the last. And what would make it better than putting in the past all of this planning that needs to be done? Because when you need it to be done, you can't do it. It's too late to write an estate plan after your death, correct? It's too late to say, here's my living will. This is what I want done when you're already in the hospital and perhaps procedures have already been performed. You've got to tell the story and it's needed now. The other thing is to follow through. I want to encourage you to keep following through. The part of the problem with a sales organization everyone that I've been a part of, is that butterflies are in our stomach when we're making the presentation, right? We're, we're nervous about this. How's this presentation going to go? And as the butterflies get bigger for us, we get more and more concerned. And then the wonderful thing happens. The client says, yes, I'll do that. Sure. Yeah. How do I sign up? What, what do I do next? Then we're rejoicing. Well, what happens to the butterflies? Let me just tell you, they leave your stomach and they fly in the client's stomach. And the client says, what have I done? Oh my gosh, what have I done? 
and then their new worry cycle comes. That doesn't help with you. That never occurs with you. You won't see that happen because you are there. Why? To help follow through, to walk them through it. Let's start with the healthcare documents and get those done because the odds are you may have to go to the hospital tomorrow. This is flu season. It's sweeping all across America. We need to get this stuff done, right? The healthcare part. If the client says, well, the estate planning stuff is complicated. Let's start with the healthcare. That's not that complicated. Let's get that done. Flu season, you know what that means for us? Man, that is prospecting and selling season because people know that they need the healthcare documents. And not only we want to follow through, but be sure that we ask that last question. What kind of legacy do you want to leave behind for your family, for the people that you love, for institutions that you believe in? That's why the estate plan is so important. That's what it does. It protects you too. You want to keep thieves and robbers out of your estate. And I tell you, they will show up in a New York minute when you don't have a will. And some people can rob you of everything. How do you do this? Well, you get it done because you are there to walk them through it. And then you know what you want to do? Celebrate. Sometimes in sales, we forget the celebration. We celebrate. I mean, we do the little dance because, hey, hey, all right, we did it. We got it. We sold the sale. That was great. And that's wonderful. But we want to help the client celebrate. The celebration is not important unless it happens in the client's house, right? That's where you want the celebration done. Call them up and say, I see you got that done. Terrific. Congratulations. That ought to relieve a lot of burden. Don't forget to celebrate with your clients. If you sold them a life insurance product, if you sold them an annuity, whatever it is you've done, call back to celebrate. John, thank you so much for getting that done. Let me just tell you, too many salesmen are afraid to talk to clients. They're afraid the client's going to find something didn't work out or they didn't like it or they're going to rescind the order and, and they never follow through. Listen, that is stupid. That is so bad. One of the top automobile salesmen in the country wrote a book and he said, every single sale represents 25 other sales to me. So if I treat this one sale really special, I'll get 25 more from the spouse from the children, from the people that they know, because they'll say, you, you won't believe what happened to me when I bought my car from Joe Girardi. You won't believe what Joe did because he took the time to celebrate. When they bought the car, he took a more to service. He introduced them to the service manager. He did all the things that, that we ought to be able to do too. Celebrate with the client when the family's protected. It becomes really important. What's the real difference in that law? Well, it's personal, it's conversational, it's digital. You get it done, but the real difference, <laughs> that's you. That's why I'm excited to chat about you every day. Net law. Remember, it's complete legal documentation for both spouses. It's complete. It's advanced care planning, including a living will, a durable poverty return for health care, a HIPAA authority. It's complete, state-specific, last will and testament, revocable living trust, the beneficiary designation. We're going to talk about that in another seminar about how important that is. Legacy gifts and even a pet trust. I'll share another personal story. Gloria and I have a little doggy. He's laying right here beside me right now. His name is Daly, and we have a pet trust for Daly. If Gloria and I were to be injured together at the same time, one of our concerns is who's going to take care of our little buddy, Daly? Well, we have a pet trust with $5,000 from our state going to cover Daly's cost and his upkeep. I think it will be probably lots of people who'd like to care for Daly for $5,000. He can't eat that much dog food in the remainder of his life. A pet trust, that's included in net law. You know, net law is complete. We think of everything, trying our best to be sure we take care of the client. And that's what you want to do, isn't it? But it doesn't mean anything, right? Unless enacting the plan replaces excuses. There are 100,000 excuses of why this shouldn't be done. And you've probably already thought of 10 of them. And so have your clients. But if you want to make a difference, start enacting the plan and see what happens. You're going to find clients will be more appreciative, more grateful, give you more referrals when they see what a great opportunity you've given them at a cheaper cost than they can get it anywhere else with personal attention. And what's the one thing they get buying it from you that they don't get anywhere else? You. I used to tell my clients, when you open an account with me, you get one thing nobody else does. And that means you get me and I'm available to talk to you, to help you, your family, anytime you choose. In fact, here's my cell phone number. 
call me if you have a problem. Let me just tell you how much that impressed my clients. And let me tell you how many calls I got, personal calls, not more than two or three in a long career. You make the difference. If you make this a part of what you want to do in the new year, I guarantee you, you're going to get more referrals, more clients, reaching the kind of people you want to reach, and you will prosper. But your clients and prospects are going to benefit even more. You will get paid a commission, but they're going to save hundreds of thousands of dollars in expenses. My brother lost $175,000 in legal expenses because his will was contested, and it was a bad will written by an attorney whose prime business was getting people out of traffic tickets. That's not what you get with net law. You're going to avoid taxes if you be sure to remove that burden that comes from probate. You're going to have costly litigation go out the door. You're not going to need that. And then you're going to add peace of mind to an anxiety-filled experience as illness and life-threatening events come, and you know they're going to come. We're here to help. I think you, you heard Mark talk about that. You've already spoken to Mary and Vanessa. I mean, we have a team sitting there in Louisville by the phones ready to help you, to assist your clients. So you really have a, a happy new year. We're going to take some questions. I hope as I've been talking, you've been sending some along to Mark. Uh, we'd be happy to deal with it, anything you want. My name is Stan Craig. I'm a part of the NetLaw team and, and happy to be working with you. There's nothing more enjoyable than financial services. I, all of my 28 years in that, were joyous because of the ability to help people solve financial and personal problems. That's the kind of problems that everyone needs some help with, and you are equipped to do just that. And I'm grateful that we had this chance to chat.